Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, we're your boy Nev from NASDAQ Bits, and today me and the Colonel would like to give you a rundown of the ThinkPad E590 i5 series. We're going to have a look around and see how she does, and we'll even run a benchmark and all that fun stuff. Have ourselves a wicked good time, right? I'll tell you what, Bobby. Anyways, look at the side. We got one, two USB, one HDMI, one USB C, and one headset. Oh man, the keyboard. Before I go on any further, I gotta say, uh, it just feels like metal, cold aluminum or something like that. There's a lot to be said about it. I remember the E series before the last round. Mmm, they were just, you could tell, they just didn't feel as good. Like, they felt good as far as the Lenovo go. But there's just something to be said about this. It just feels like uh, it's going to be able to take more of a bump. I had someone take a long-range flight, uh, and they had to put their E-Series into their luggage, and it did not survive the trip. But I'm telling you, folks, I think this one would. I definitely think that this one would. It looks a lot more rugged. And we'll just come on over to the side. And we have the uh, network. Got to have the network. USB and SD card. SD? SD. Yeah, that's right. You know uh, you know, you're actually dealing with business when you actually got that port right there. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Once again, on the outside, we don't have an external battery. I'm not a big fan of that. So if this thing ever won't turn on, where is it? It doesn't have it. <laughs> Never mind. The last round actually had a little pinhole dot that you could use to reset the uh, the motherboard chip, but this one doesn't. That's concerning. I'll have to open her up in order to pull the battery again. Okay. Now, actually, before I get her benchmarked, how about... Ah! Sorry. Sorry, Colonel. Don't worry, folks. He's okay. He'll live. You'll live. Anyways, we got eight cores, i5, 8265U at uh, 1.6 gigahertz. Um, yeah, eight gigs RAM, Intel H UHD graphics 620. Not great, but okay. So uh, let's run the benchmark. I'm pretty sure the i7 version got a score of 3,500. So... I expect this no battery. Oh, I expect this thing to do only slightly worse. I'm expecting 3,000, let's say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. Usually, what I like to do is I wait until it gets to the 3D marks or even the 2D marks, and then I'll come back on and we'll see what how it does for gaming. All right, 2D test, and of course, whoop, it does a weird thing where it sucks in. Still run pretty good, though. Can't complain. Next up, we have the Space Rocks. Very nice. Very slow, I gotta say. We're getting a score of uh, not even 7 frames per second. Things don't seem to do too well on the 2D marks. All right, we're getting a little better here. What do you think, Colonel? Those jellyfish look pretty sexy, eh, Colonel? Alright, Direct X12 coming right up. You know, about 11 frames per second. Looks kind of choppy. But again, this is the kind of laptop you get for gaming. This is the kind of laptop that you get uh, for office work for the most part. And it will do office work stuff, I promise you. I think they paid about a thousand, maybe a thousand two hundred in uh, Canadian rupees for this one. Alright, I'll let you know when we reach the end. 
All right, so this is kind of interesting. I got to say, the Colonel and I are both very surprised, but the pass mark rating is just a little bit lower than what the i7 would be, considering the price difference is uh, pretty phenomenal. Sorry about this shaky camera, guys. Um, this mark's pretty good. Uh, my daughter's uh, motorboating back there. CPU mark. Yep, that's what we got. Come on, autofocus. There we go. I guess. Kind of. Sort of. Anyways, let's do a teardown. Let's open this thing up and see what's on the inside. Getting these things open isn't a really big deal, but you got to make sure you get all the screws. And then you got to worry about clips. You get a spudger or a credit card or something to open this stuff up. All right, I take that back. It was not as easy as I thought it would be. And I got another computer-related cut now. Yay! <laughs> All right, so quick look on the inside. We can see the giant battery, the SSD. We got two spots for RAM. Check out that other slot for RAM. That is so sexy. Oh, dual channel RAM. Can't get dual channel RAM unless you have two pieces of RAM, of course. You get the CPU right here. Heat piping it up to the GPU. The fan looks like it's going to get clogged with a lot of dust really quickly because it's got many tiny fans. And if someone tries to blow in there, they're going to blow that thing to heck. Let me tell you. I'll tell you what, Bobby. And then we got the speakers. Look how cute. They're so cute. Look how cute. But they actually throw a fair decent amount of noise, I gotta say. I'm pleased with this one. I'm definitely more pleased with it than I was uh, the other E-Series. Maybe the price come up, I don't know, but this is uh, some good stuff. I like this stuff. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. That from Nestec. Please like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, and have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.